here and it's going live to Dubai. And you're very, very welcome on this Dubai International Race Day. So come around to the winner's enclosure, win or lose, give the winner a big cheer, enjoy the presentation, and if you have any losing betting slips, put your name on the back and pop them in Tomo's lucky bucket. And we've got some great prizes to give away. Horses are at the start. How are they betting? Gary, what's the latest news on the betting on this opening race? We now have uh, Vaughn de Faust as the 5-2 to two market leader as the runners arrive down at the start. They bet 3-1 to one for Jabal Ali, 9-2 to two for Polonis. De Rifa is 5-1 to one as Vaughn de Faust just drifts out a fraction to 11-4. to four. And we now have a new favourite in the shape of horse number 5, Jabal Ali, who has been well backed and is now the 5-2 to two market leader. 11-4 to four for Vaughn de Faust, 9-2 to two for Polonis. De Rifa is 5-1, to one. Gent is at sixes. It's 7 to 1 for Tutati, 14 to 1 for Enigma, Siragri, and Alcia Rosia. Runners have arrived safely down at the start, and the loading up process is about to begin. By the way, guys, don't forget, we're looking for the best selfie today. So if you've got your iPhone, your cell phone, whatever, just take a selfie and send it to us. I'll get you where to send it to very soon. But take, it to, take a selfie. And the prize for the best selfie today is a brand new iPad. So, so go for it. How many gigs? 16. Goodness me. So if you want to take a selfie today, all you've got to do is uh, tweeted to us at DIA underscore races with a capital R. That's at DIA underscore races. Send us your selfie. It could be you. It could be anybody. Send us your selfie. You could win an iPad. All the details are in the race card. Learning up process about to begin. Gent and David Ten are the first ones to go forward into stall eight. Alcia Rosia has gone into stall number two. Tarifa has gone forward into stall number one. Pollen is the next one to go forward into stall seven. So four of them in. Five of them left to load. Stores three, four, six, nine, and ten are vacant. In goes Vaughn de Faust into stall nine. Jabal Ali into stall ten. Just about set to go now, opening race of eight this afternoon, and they're off. They race away, and Jabal Ali, furthest to the left with the black cap, jumps out to the right as the stalls open. They head through the first of the eight furlongs in this Emirates Airline Premier Handicap Stakes, and in the centre, Pollen is with the dark green sleeves and cap is prominent, along with the grey Alcia Rosia in a yellow jacket. Over on the far side with the red cap, De Rifa is racing back in third. She's being followed further back in the field by Sirar Gree in the black headgear, followed by Gent in the white headgear on his outside. Enigma towards the inside is racing back in sixth, followed by Tutati in a red cap. And Vaughn de Faust and Jabal Ali are the back pair as Alcia Rosia presses on down to the final five furlongs. 
So well, see her, see her. She's gone on by a couple of lengths over in second position, Darifa and the cheap pieces on the far side, getting a nice lead through. Pollen is her stable companion, is next to her. Out wide of those is Gent, one of the greys. Enigma towards the inside, shuffled along, followed by Sir Augury, then Vaunt the Faust with the black cap furthest to the left. Jabalali trying to make a bit of headway in two to ticks with the nose band buried away amongst horses as they make the run down to the final three furlongs. I'll see you, see her, over on the far side, running rail, nudged along as Pollen is, looks to be traveling strongly in the red cap just in behind. Sir Augury and Tutu T are next, then Vaunt the Faust, blue and white striped cap becoming with a run. Out wide of those Pollen is widest of all Jabalali and the black cap is creeping closer as they make the run down to the final quarter mile. Tutu T, red cap and noseband coming to join Darifa as Alcia Rocia weakens. Vaunt the Faust is third, then Jabalali to the wide outside. Sir Augury is next. A furlong and a half left to go. Darifa on the far side of Tutu T. This pair doing best and they're drawing away from the others headed now by Sir Augury. They come inside the final Final furlong, two to tea on the near side of Darifa. Not a lot to split them. They're clear from Sir Augury and then behind those Wagner Faust. Inside the final half furlong, two to tea on the near side of Darifa. Two to tea is just in front from Darifa, who to her credit is rallying on the far side. But two to tea just does enough and provides Georgina Ward with the winner here on Dubai Day again. Beats Darifa into second, close for third between Sir Augury and Wagner Faust. They pulled clear of Jabalali, then Enigma Gent. Alcia Rocia, and finally, Pollen is. First, number six, two dirty. Second, number seven. Third, number nine. And the fourth horse, number three. The full result of our first race of the afternoon, the Emirates Airline Premier Handicap Stakes. First, number six, two dirty. Second, number seven, Dariva. Third, number nine, Syria Green. And the fourth horse, number three, Vendor Faust. cap becoming with a run. Out wide of those pollen is widest of all Jabalali and the black cap is creeping closer as they make the run down to the final quarter mile. Two to T, red cap and noseband coming to join Darifa as Alcia Rocia weakens. Vaunt the Faust is third, then Jabalali to the wide outside. Sir Augury is next. A furlong and a half left to go. Darifa on the far side of two to T. This pair doing best and they're drawing away from the others headed now by Sir Augury. They come inside the final furlong. Two to T on the near side of Darifa. Not a lot to split them. They're clear from Sir Augury and then behind those Wagner Faust inside the final half furlong two to T on the near side of Darifa two to T is just in front from Darifa who to her credit is rallying on the far side but two to T just does enough and provides Georgina Ward with the winner here on Dubai Day again beats Darifa into second close for third well that was an incredible finish to the first race come round to the winners enclosure come and join us and what a result this is for the winning trainer georgina ward brought up in yorkshire but she's been around the world 